Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I want to give you some tips and pointers, some advice to anybody that might be new to the UX design manager's role or you're thinking about becoming a UX design manager. I recently got an email from somebody in my network, a designer that I know that recently got promoted to UX design manager. This particular person was a little bit nervous about this new role. Um, had a little bit of anxiety, even used the term imposter syndrome. And we've all heard that term before. Basically, you're put into a new role and you're unsure whether or not you are capable to fulfill that particular role. And this is totally common. We've all been there in some point or time in our career. So I shot this person an email with some pointers and I wanted to share these things in a, in a video uh, to anybody that might be in this particular role or thinking about becoming a manager. Hopefully you gain another or two from this in no particular order. And some of these might be common sense, but some of these things might be things you haven't thought about. <coughs> Number one, as a manager, you um, are no more working in silo, kind of with headphones, putting your head down. As a manager, you now have to look at the landscape and kind of look at things from a bird's eye perspective, which means you have to become a student of your calendar. Make sure that you are aware of what's going on around, around you. You're going to be scheduling a lot of meetings and going to a lot of meetings. You're now more focused on the bigger rocks and not so much headphones, head down, researching, delivering on a product. You have to really, you might be hands on, you might be hands off, but for the most part, you have to keep your head up and stay afloat and look at things from a bird's eyes perspective. Um, that's number one. <coughs> and I apologize, I'm dealing with bronchitis. Uh, I'll be coughing a lot through this video. Hopefully I get through this uh, without dying. But um, So that's number one. Number two, make sure you have an open line of communication with your boss. That is key and essential. Um, if you remain in constant communication with your boss, you will be aware of what your boss expects of you and your group, and you'll be also aware of what's going on within the organization. Um, that's key. You're now looking at things from a bigger perspective rather than just you know delivering on a project. You wanna know what's going on and how your team impacts this and what products you guys are, are delivering on and how those products um, impact the company as a whole. So have an open line of communication with your boss is essential and that's your key stakeholder. <coughs> Number three is what I consider to be the biggie. Make sure you build relationships, strong relationships with your peer groups, other managers that you'll be working with day to day, week to week, and month to month. In particular, product, engineering, and sales. All right, a lot of people don't think about sales, but they're big. Product, obviously, they're responsible for the requirements. Engineering, they're responsible for coding these products. And sales, they work with the customers face to face. And they um, have, they are the first line of defense to quote unquote the horse's mouth, right? So they know what's going on, what the customers are asking for, and what issues they're dealing with day to day. So if you build relationships with sales, you can um, consistently meet with them and get feedback on what's going on within the marketplace. You can bring that back to the table um, amongst your, your <coughs> excuse me, amongst your group to build stronger projects. Now, why is it key building relationships with product and engineering is because if you do not do this, a lot of these groups overlap and they want to take ownership of the product themselves. And if you don't have that strong relationship, if you're not going to lunch consistently with these groups, um, it can cause a lot of conflicts, you know, uh, a lot of politics, if you will, down the road. Because product, they own the product, they're delivering the requirements, they feel they, they are the owners of the product, right? Engineering, because they are actually coding the products, they feel some sort of ownership. And then UX, as UX designers, we are the designers, we feel like we know what's best. So we feel we are owners of the product. So if those groups aren't or don't have a tight relationship, it can be a lot of conflict there. So make sure you have a strong relationship with your peer group managers that you'll be working with day to day. 
that's the biggie of all the advice that I'm giving you in this video. So the, the, the last few is this. As a manager, don't try to go in there and manage. A lot of times as a new manager, you think, hey, managers have to manage. For the most part, the folks that are reporting to you are adults, treat them as such. They don't need to be micromanaged. Give them their space, let them own their particular thing, and be receptive of their ideas when they bring them to the table. So don't micromanage, treat them as, as valued peers and you, you'll be successful you know, um, in that regard. <clears throat> the last few, when it comes to when it comes to hiring and firing and things like that, uh, as a new manager, you're not going to be solely responsible for that. Make sure you lean on your peers for that. Make sure you lean on HR. Make sure you, you um, discuss things with your boss. You're not going to be firing anybody on your own. Trust me. So. Uh, if you remain in constant communication with your peers and how they handle things and how your boss might want you to handle things and, and how HR handle things, you'll be fine. And lastly, here's a biggie also, as a, as a manager, don't think you have to know it all. Remain humble, listen, uh, be receptive to ideas, be willing to learn, and you'll be just fine. That means also within your group, make sure that your open to uh, uh, ideas. Make sure that um, you know you go about you know building successful products collectively. Don't think you have to go in there as a manager. I'm responsible for this so I know it all. Yeah, you might get the final decision on certain aspects of different discussions, but for the most part, you want to utilize your peer group and your team to come together as a team to build great products. Um, I always say great products are not done by one person, it is done collectively amongst your team and others within the organization. So if you take that advice and you apply those things to this new role, you'll be highly successful um, as a UX design manager and highly revered for somebody in that particular position. Hopefully these tips were helpful. Hopefully you gained a nugget or two from this. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.